Uh, my name is Judy Scrow, Member of Parliament for the wonderful riding of Humber River Black Creek, and I represent the Liberal Party federally for the last 23 years. I ran for public office as a school trustee to make changes in the school system. Um, clearly, I wasn't happy with the way things were uh, going as in relation to my family and the needs of my son. And um, I couldn't get anyone to listen, so I felt the only way I could make that change would be to run for the school board. And that's exactly what I did. I wasn't successful, but I learned a lot, uh, and, and I, I moved on from there. Uh, I have a lot of things that I'm very proud of that I've done. I've utilized the 23 years that I've been at the federal level uh, to bring the cities to the table. Uh, cities are not a creature of the federal government. And in 1999, when I came here and said I wanted to fight for the cities, I was told I was at the wrong level of government. You could not talk about cities in the House of Commons or you would be ruled out of order. But uh, I persevered and um, Prime Minister Creighton appointed a task force on cities and appointed me as the chair and gave me an 18-month mandate to travel the country and come back and tell them what the problems were. Um, and that's what I did and that created the urban task force and uh, produced several reports. We now have a gas tax across Canada, we have an infrastructure plan, an infrastructure bank, and we now work much more in partnership with the provinces and the cities. And that's critically important because we in government, you have to have partnerships. It's not one government alone. You have to work together for the betterment of the people. I still absolutely love what I do. I like helping people. I like creating policy that's going to make a difference in the lives of the people of Humber River, Black Creek, uh, and doing my constituency work and helping make their lives a bit better. I have a very multicultural riding, and a lot of people don't understand there's three levels of government, they don't know who to go for what, and so being able to help people is what it's all about. That's what it's been for me, and I still love what I do. One of the most difficult things as an MP that I have learned when I come here is the length of time and the difficulty to get things done. Nothing gets done overnight. Legislation takes a couple of years uh, to get through. It has to go through committee. Too much fighting in the House, too much uh, arguing. There needs to be much more cooperation, which is again going back to my initial issue about cooperation amongst three levels of government. I have a private member's bill. Uh, introduced in the House last June to call for a national eye strategy to prevent blindness. Uh, in order for me to be successful with that, uh, I need partners within the other governments. And I have uh, very pleased to say that I have a woman in each one of the parties, in the Conservatives, the Bloc, the NDP and the Green, um, supporting the bill. And uh, it was very nice to have an, an event where I had five, five of us as all female MPs all supporting the initiative to prevent blindness. And uh, it comes up for second, first reading, uh, May the 10th, and I'm looking forward to having success at preventing blindness for people in Canada. The lack of interest in democracy continues to concern me greatly. Uh, I think it's apathy. I think people are just they don't seem to understand the importance of that X beside someone's name. I get to be their voice, and I need to be reflective of the people that I represent. And so they have a chance to decide who they think is the best representative, but they have to pay attention. They have to get up and they have to pay attention to who's the candidates in the writing. Ask the questions. That's, what we're, that's, the, that's our report card. For as, as when you run for office and you've been in office for a while. They get a chance to reflect on, were you there for them? Were you reflecting their needs, their thoughts, and their desires? And they put the X where that's appropriate. Sometimes people have no idea who they're voting for. They walk into the voting booth and they just put an X on whatever name rings a bell. You know what? 
That's not the way you should be doing it because we have a moral responsibility to cast our vote in an intelligent way, which is why programs like this are so important because you're educating the young people who in turn also educate their families to say, this is really important, mom and dad, you need to get out and participate. Oh, absolutely. People like I'm meeting and through the civics program, people that I meet that are involved in many of the nonprofits around the country, uh, they're the future and they're very excited about it. But we just need to get that excitement to go into everybody else. So um, I think it's going to be great, but they'll have the challenges like everybody else has had. Um, but I know they're going to do just terrific. We've got a well educated community everywhere and they have great ideas and full of excitement and I want to see them go forward to help continue to build our country. Well, if I was 16, uh, I would be focused on getting myself a really solid education. It's always there, it's there for the rest of your life. You take it wherever you go, it opens doors, creates new job opportunities for people. Um, but more importantly, it really enhances our nation and our country and our communities with educated people helping to move forward in the decision-making process. So I think education is where I would stay focused if I was 16 years old, which is what I would hope that everyone else does as well.